What's up, yo yo squad? Welcome back to another Bone Beach Warships video. As you can see, guys, I made it to rank 24 with my full dirty five year layout. It's really, really crazy out there right now. And here is my tech tree. My flares are still tech three. My shock launchers are not maxed. My shocks are only tick two. Then I'm missing this GB node over here. My mad kits are not maxed. My troop damage is not maxed. I do have maxed out rocket launchers. I'm missing this node over here. I'm missing heavies, missing Kavan also. Missing the critters over here also. So that would be a huge help. I'm missing the GB. It's just unlocked, not upgraded in it or anything. So right now I have 152 keys, which is more than enough to go six engine rooms and this building damage over here. But the problem is I won't be able to max it out right away. I can probably put it to like 30%, maybe 40, not quite sure, but something around there. And I'm gonna be saving up a little bit more because I do have a chest available right now and I'm gonna have two more chests in the morning tomorrow so I'll be able to go up to the boom cannons all the way there and max out everything out with the tokens that I get from the from these chests because I'm gonna have three chests available so that's gonna give me around 1.35 million upgrade tokens which should be more than enough to max boom cannons, max out my building damage and everything, unlock the... Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I think I'm gonna go with the rocket launcher over here, because I've seen a whole bunch of guys is actually running the diddles right now, so I'm gonna go with that. Here is my log, pretty pretty good, only two losses. This guy, we both fizzled pretty hard. This guy, he fizzled on me. He was a six engine rooms, I think. Yeah, he was. It's a pretty easy, actually, six engine room. I'm gonna save up all of my keys for all that stuff for now. So I'll try to do some jumps over there with the with the keys that I have, I'll try to get all the way to the, how they are called, the boom cannons and everything. So we will see how old that goes. Hopefully that it's gonna push me to like 25, maybe even legendary. Not quite sure, but I really, really hope so. So if I can get that, I'll be more than set to go to seven engine rooms, grab myself the heavy choppers, get back and grab myself the heavies, and then progress to with the building health of the seven engine rooms. So that's gonna be my priority for now. This guy also fizzled left three, this guy left two. I'm gonna show my replay instead of his. He's also a 30-30. Five years, he doesn't have the maxed out rocket launchers just yet, so not quite sure how he actually made it all the way to rank 24 without them, but I guess he's just a really, really good player. So, I almost actually fizzled over here. Luckily, I had couple of those reinforcements this guy still was up and I managed to get him down and I had only a couple guys on the left hand side taking down those shock launchers and rocket launchers so I was actually pretty lucky to full clear this guy it, it was a really really slow time at the end but I had to full clear him because I couldn't flare I couldn't do anything so, I am flaring this lost engine room with only four bombardiers left, so 
I was really, really lucky that he fizzled. Let's show you guys some more Cortez Gorilla. Another fizzle on me. And then on the last, we're gonna do one live attack because I do have one chest available. I'm gonna go and hit that attack button and I'm gonna try to do some more battles tomorrow when I have some chest available so I can go to six engine rooms and everything after it like I said I'm gonna be aiming those uh, how they're called the boom cannons so stay tuned for that because tomorrow's video is gonna be with the six engine rooms but this time with a fully loaded six engine rooms instead of just having the naked naked 6 CRs that's only ranked 25, 21 sorry still avoiding to unlock the this guy actually flew through my base and I was like yeah I can't beat that so I just retreated he's running the rocket chopper still and he's still like way too fast so I don't know how Bullet survived all that, but he did, so well done to him. Way too many rocket choppers left, and I couldn't do anything, so then this guy, he left all five of them, this guy left three, and this guy left one, so pretty much a whole bunch of the fizzles on my base so far. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. This guy didn't have even the rocket launchers, so... But I know he's running Seekers, so I might actually go and show you guys the Seeker attack. He almost actually made it through, so it was really, really close. He didn't barrage down any of my shock launchers or something like that. I can't remember right now because it was a while ago actually a couple hours ago and I had way too many battles before that so I didn't remember all of them but it is what it is let's try to I even had a whole bunch of GB saved up over here to barrage down one of the engine rooms because he didn't didn't have the rocket launcher so I didn't have to spend way too many shocks and here is his attack Watch this. This is one hell of a secret attack. He even got the smoke and everything. He's smoking all that, waiting for bullet to catch up. Firing taunt. Seekers are splitting so nicely. And luckily there was one shock mine over there that the seekers clipped. And then he had a whole bunch of everything killing his seekers so now let's jump into the love attack let's try to maybe win some i don't know i wanted to jump to six ers earlier this morning when i was still like rank 23 maybe low rank 23 and then i had a nice talk in my task force with the fellow sugar shippers Telling me that at least I have to save up for the next DBD and that's what I decided so I wait a little bit longer but now since I'm gonna be super close on getting the boom cannons also I have to wait for two more chests and that's gonna be around noon tomorrow when I get those so around 13 14 hours from now I'm gonna have all that it's well let's just say I hope everything goes right so we will see how all this goes. Let's drop these. Let's barrage down over here. One and one. Okay, we need those guys to clear all of the mines over there. Okay, one, two. Let's see if that's gonna be enough. No, it's not. Okay, that's not cool. I'm not liking that. Okay. I'm gonna shock over here. I'm gonna lose actually a couple bombardiers over there on that side but we should be 
pretty set I would say let's do this let's give bullet a drink before he dies out which I hope he won't I'm gonna need okay that side is good I'm gonna shock over here and now I'm gonna save up for another drink with bullet this side is pretty much all set okay let's give him a drink we need him in front and he's gonna take down that rocket launcher all by himself so let's see maybe we should give him another yeah let's just give him another one because he's gonna be in front of all that let's get of this okay and now let's actually just flare this flare the last one shock over here and we should be pretty pretty good drop the last artilleries this guy is going actually really really fast also to 22 i mean i'm pretty happy with the time but let's see where this guy is discreet we're probably his boss fight for 24 so let's see he's still 23 let's see 220 oh yeah we got him by four seconds and we got 13 stars from him so that's really really good let's show his replay real quick on times four He's running heavies, bombardiers with Kavon. I've seen so many guys using Kavon nowadays, actually. And he even has the critters to clear some of the mines. I'm missing all that stuff. I don't want to waste any keys over there. So I'm actually surprised that he made it through. He had a couple shocks okay saved up so that's gonna wrap up the video for today guys i hope you did enjoy make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new hit the like button comment down below and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video yo yo out peace